welcome back to my channel. Today I've done a hair tutorial, which is completely random for me. I pretty much suck at hair, so I never really do hair tutorials. But today I felt inspired to do this super easy, by the way, loose, messy braid. And I was like, why don't I just film it in case you guys ask me how I did it? Then I can show you how I did it. So here it is. It is like, I can't even stress how easy it was. There's nothing to it. And I think the less effort you put into it, the better it turns out, believe it or not. And also, this is perfect if you have like greasy or dirty hair and you need to wash it like I do. So this is what it looks like from the back. Let me turn around and show you. Looks like this. So as you can see, it is super messy. That's what I was going for, I swear. <laughs> right, first of all, I said that my hair was dirty. I really need to wash it. As you can see, it's pretty greasy, pretty oily. All I'm gonna do now is section my hair down the middle of my hair and pull it into two sides. Now I'm just using my horse hair brush to brush my hair. This is my favorite hairbrush because my hair can get a little bit knotty and this hairbrush gets any knots out without actually hurting my scalp. So I'll link it down below for you because it's brilliant and so cheap. So I'm literally just gonna brush all my hair, make sure I get all the knots out of it and it's as smooth as possible. Now because my hair is so dirty, I'm gonna put a bit of dry shampoo in. I'm using this Batiste dry shampoo. Again, I'll link it down below for you. It's just the original one that I use and I'm spraying it all through the roots of my hair or anywhere that my hair looks kind of dirty and greasy. Now I'm just running my fingers through the roots of my hair and kind of roughing everything up so that I can massage that product through the roots. You obviously don't want to leave it how it looked before because you can see the gray parts in the hair. So just make sure you've got your dry shampoo massaged evenly throughout the roots of your hair and then give it a brush just to be on the safe side and make sure there's no chunks of dry shampoo anywhere. What I'm gonna do now is put my hair extensions in. So I'm just using my fingers to roughly section my hair. I'm gonna tie that bit of hair on top of my head so I can go in with my hair extensions. My hair extensions are from Bellamy. I'll link them down below for you. I used to have a discount code for these, but I'm not sure if it still works, so I'll double check and let you know in the description box as well. Because I'm doing a braid, it doesn't really matter that these hair extensions don't match my hair particularly well. Because once the braid all comes together, my hair is a few different colors anyway, so hopefully it'll all work. I'm only putting in two rows of hair extensions because any more than that, my hair will just be way too thick because I already have a lot of hair as it is. Putting my second row of hair extensions in near the bottom of my head. As you can see, I take a small section of hair from the front of my head and divide it into three pieces. That's where I'm gonna start my braid. Now all I do is literally go ahead and braid the rest of my hair. This isn't a tutorial on how to braid hair because I wouldn't even know how to explain that to you guys. I don't even know how I learned to braid. One day I just tried it and it just worked. And ever since then I've known how to braid, but no one taught me and I don't know how to teach anyone. But I will say that if you are learning to braid, this is probably a good tutorial for you in that this is not gonna be a neat braid. The idea of this braid is to make it as messy and fluffy and piecey as possible. So if you're not very good at braiding or you are still practicing learning how to braid, just like, just go for it. If it's messy, that's fine. It just adds to the after effect. My style of braiding, as you can see, is very rough and haphazard. I just grab bits of hair from anywhere, flick them into the braid and hope for the best. Now what I'm gonna do once the braid is finished is just pull it apart a little bit and make it a little bit messier. So I go into the plait, I pull it apart gently, not too much because you don't wanna pull the braid out completely, but I'm just messing it up. And then I pull out some little wispy bits from the front around my face. And that is literally it finished. So easy, what did I tell you? There we are guys, that is the finished tutorial. I hope that you found it somewhat helpful. I don't know if I'm any good at hair tutorials, to be honest. Let me know down below what you thought. Do you want me to do more hair tutorials? Do you want me to stay away from them altogether? Or what did you think of this hairstyle? It's pretty comfy, I really like it. I think I'm gonna wear my hair like this a lot more just because it keeps it out of my face. I can concentrate a little bit better and it doesn't really matter if I go out in the wind or if my hair's a bit dirty because I think that kind of stuff just makes this hairstyle look all the better. By the way, I have not done a makeup tutorial on this makeup that I'm wearing right now, but if you wanna see it, let me know in the comments down below and I will film it for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can actually see the new videos that I put up. I put up at least three videos a week, which is so much new content. And when you subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know when I've uploaded a video. Love you guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.